The angels pull Lot back in. The angels close the door. If you read it, a miracle takes place. They strike everyone with blindness and the crowd dissipates. But here's what happens next. They start preaching the whole counsel of God. And people, if there's anything that we need to start doing from the pulpits to our home is start preaching the whole counsel of God. They basically told Lot, God's going to destroy this place. This place is going to be burnt it is going to be hell on earth. You better get yourself, get your wife, get your family, and get out of here. God is going to destroy this place. And that is what we need to start telling people. We preach the, good, the gospel. We preach the good news as well we should. But we don't preach the good and the bad and the ugly. And I'm telling you, there's some bad and there's some ugly stuff. And we need to tell our families, we need to tell our friends, God is going to destroy this place. And you need to understand that. If you read over in Revelation 6, when it talks about the seals being opened, and the four seal, it said when the four seal was opened, and the pale horse came out, out. And the rider on the pale horse, his name was Death, and hell was following with him. And we need to tell people that death is coming and hell is following with him. And you need to understand that. We do not preach the full gospel anymore. We preach the good, but not the bad, and not the ugly. And there's a bad and there's some ugly that needs to be preached. When we look at Sodom and Gomorrah, judgment was passed, and then you see the punishment. Judgment and the penalty. In the world we live in today, usually we have judgment, but we don't see the penalty or the punishment for quite a while. And we kind of think it's not coming, but we need to understand it's coming. And if God passes His judgment, you can believe that the punishment and the penalty is coming. 